The Me Too movement is known as a movement against sexual harassment and sexual assault of women. The phrase, Me Too, was initially created in 2006 by founder Tarana Burke. However, in 2017, a social media phenomenon occurred, starting the hashtag, hashtag Me Too, as a way for women to share their stories of sexual harassment. One day, American actress Alyssa Milano shared her tweet about being sexually assaulted and started a national campaign for women all over the world. It allowed for women to stand together and fight something bigger than just themselves. This is the start of the revolution for women everywhere and how the Me Too movement created a new perspective and approach for feminism everywhere. Hence, the Me Too movement has transformed feminism in several ways that have led to more success and equality for women everywhere. To begin, ever since the Me Too movement, there has been a major change in females' abilities and wills to want to stand up and make a difference. With feminism, women are fighting for equal rights and treatment in society. However, since the Me Too movement, women have had the power to come together and challenge their counterparts in all different aspects of life. The Me Too movement has given them a way to do so. For example, women have always felt they were being used and treated as objects for men to use whenever they please. Males were able to take advantage of women in sexual ways, while women were misheard or not important enough for say. Since the Me Too movement, there has been a change in the way consent is being discussed and what is the proper way to be given consent. A survey of a thousand people revealed that one in eight women felt they didn't have the right to withdraw from consent. Now, women and men are being taught that every individual has the right to not want to engage in sexual activity. More regulations are being placed on college campuses about sexual assault policies, allowing women to feel more safe and secure if they need to speak up about certain sexual misconduct. Also, sex education is being developed into more proper and functional methods, showing women that they do not need to give in to a man as well as teaching students at a younger level about ways in which females and males are both equals in sexual situations, that both parties need to consent before sexual activity can occur. Even, more research is being done on what is the proper format to be teaching students about consent. Scholar Michelle Anderson has created a new model for consent, known as the negotiation model, allowing both parties to have equal say in their choice. Thus, because of the Me Too movement, women more than ever felt the right and the power to stand up for what they believe in, equality, especially in forms of sexual consent. By standing together, women were able to change and bring upon discussion about new consent and education methods that can later help young females receive equality when it comes to sexual activity. Although the Me Too movement has transformed feminism for the better, many individuals feel the Me Too movement has made more viewers more skeptical and against feminism. Many men feel the Me Too movement has made feminism more overbearing and more obnoxious. Several men think women are being unfair for what consists of as sexual harassment, as well as many older feminist women believe women are being too soft and need to toughen up in regards to what they consider to be sexual harassment. Men in the workplace are especially skeptical of this. With the women having had a major impact on society with the Me Too movement, men are now more hesitant to work with women during work matters. There were men who specifically said, I will not hire a woman going forward. Uh, those who said they would hire a woman said they would not travel with one and they, and more importantly, would not have acti would not engage in activities after business hours. And you know, oftentimes, uh, that's where the relationships are built. According to the researchers' 2018 survey results, evidence showed that due to the Me Too movement, many people expected men to become more reluctant. A follow-up survey in 2019 showed that the backlash was even more worse than anticipated. Overall, men are more reluctant to be involved with women in one-on-one -on -one situations due to the expansion of the Me Too movement. Men do not want to be accused of sexual harassment and this has, in a sense, altered women's acceptance and hierarchy in the workplace. Men have recognized the power women have had with relation to the Me Too movement and do not want to be placed in a situation where they can be jeopardizing their life or careers. Even though skepticism is a backlash of the Me Too movement, Feminism as a whole has been transformed through this movement by the power dynamics and abilities for women to fight for a cause and show they can make a change. For instance, feminists involved in the Me Too movement has had the ability to change several laws in regards to unfair equality and treatment between men and women. For example, states such as Oregon, New Jersey, and New York have passed new laws protecting employees from sexual harassment and gender discrimination at work. Not to mention, since the Me Too movement began and millions of women working to make a change, there has been a widespread of knowledge about the Me Too movement all around the world. According to Google Stats, in the last year, Me Too was searched in 196 different countries. Proving that women have been so inspired and have made such a strong impact, the Me Too movement is a world phenomenon. 
Finally, the Me Too movement has transformed feminism with the notion of equality and the power of togetherness. Because of the Me Too movement and women fighting for non-patriarchal domination in the world, society has changed their outlook of how they think about power. Women as a whole have come together in all different aspects of life to change the way power is distributed through gender. Here are a few examples of how feminists and the Me Too movement took down power. Household names like Matt Lauer and Charlie Rose were fired from their networks following sexual misconduct allegations. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman resigned over sexual assault allegations by multiple women. I will be resigning. Democratic Senator Al Franken of Minnesota also resigned from Congress. Athletes spoke out as well. More than 150 women and girls accused former Team USA gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser of sexual misconduct, and he was sentenced to 40 to 175 years in prison. My dream is that one day, everyone will know what the words Me Too signify, but they will be educated and able to protect themselves from predators like Larry. Women in entertainment launched the Time's Up campaign and raised millions of dollars to subsidize legal support for women and men who experience sexual harassment, assault, or abuse in the workplace. At the 75th Golden Globes Awards, women and men were black on the red carpet in a show of solidarity for the Time's Up mission. As you can see, women have taken major strides with the help of the Me Too movement to silence all abusers of sexual misconduct and power. By doing this, feminists have made great strides in their hopes of having females be respected and show more equality in all areas, especially by male patriarchy. More importantly, feminists want to create a world where future women will not be treated with disrespect and inequality. With the help of the Me Too movement, this goal is becoming a reality. When Oprah Winfrey took the stage to accept a Lifetime Achievement Award, she delivered a speech that spoke directly to school-aged girls about sexual harassment they're experiencing and how change is finally being created. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon! Females are inspiring for change in so many different ways. Already they have accomplished so many great things. However, with the help of the Me Too movement, women were able to come together and express how sexual domination and violence were able to help them overcome and transform the way females are seen every day. Women are the change and are coming together to make a major difference. When Me Too started, I felt less alone. Our stories were getting out there, they were getting traction, I felt hope recognizing that our stories are important. I never had the courage before to tell my story because I believed that I didn't matter. One of the biggest things that I learned through this entire process and the Me Too movement is that every survivor has their own truth, their own story. One of the things that I've really struggled with that I want to offer to other survivors is this idea that maybe you shouldn't say something, maybe it isn't the worst thing that has ever happened and so you should tolerate or excuse this kind of behavior. What I've really found is that that is not true. Being sensitive to everyone who has some kind of trauma that they're undergoing to really understand that your truth might not be the same as theirs, but it's just as valid. But I think it's critical that we ensure that this moment of awareness raising translates into lasting policy change. That's why in January, I left my corporate law job to launch the Purple Campaign a nonprofit organization whose mission is to end workplace sexual harassment by implementing stronger corporate policies and empowering people to create lasting change in their own workplaces and communities. Watching Dr. Ford testify this past week was incredible. It showed me that my story is also important, uh, and so is yours. The Me Too movement has impacted me by really making me see that there is a sense of humanity that goes with uh, statistics that unfortunately many of us are actually part of. My thought is we're only as sick as our secrets and if we're going to really experience healing, we need to be able to name what happened to us and to see it as it was. And that's the first step towards healing and that's how we know we're actually getting better. Me Too has been the foundation for real change for women. It has revealed that feminism as a whole has truly been able to break new grounds in hopes of receiving equal respect and equality in every aspect of life. For that, we say thank you, Me Too.